Well, the liberal leader is in a debate with an unlikely oppo opponent, a Manitoba mom. Justin Trudeau was uh, tasked with tough questions on his marijuana policies from one very concerned mother who says she's seen the dangers of the drug firsthand. Jessica Hume is live in Ottawa with more on that one. Jessica. Pat, this is a weird story. It's kind of a story about the blind leading the blind. So we have the flakiest of federal political party leaders uh, debating with a woman who doesn't have, uh, appear to have seen the unintentional humor in reefer madness. She's talking about uh, marijuana as if it's crack cocaine. But uh, yeah, so uh, Trudeau has put one, uh, one little baby uh, policy idea forward so far. Uh, that is that he wants to legalize marijuana. He's going to uh, hold all of his ideas. Other ideas are back until we're closer to the next federal election. Uh, now, you know, you can debate uh, the merits of having that be your one policy idea that you want to put forward, but uh, it seems to have gotten a lot of traction in Canada, and it's something that Canadians uh, are appearing to love to talk about. But not everybody's on board with Trudeau, and as we can see in uh, what's going to be a wild clip, uh, he gets challenged on this idea by a woman uh, who talks about marijuana addiction uh, as if she's a character right out of the 1930s. So let's uh, take a look at the blind leading the blind in this clip, uh, Trudeau and a woman uh, asking him about marijuana policy. The current approach isn't working to no, keep marijuana out of the hands of your teenager. But and what I'm saying is if we control it, if we regulate it the same way we regulate, or even maybe slightly tougher than alcohol, your 16-year-old won't have easy access to marijuana. And that's what we both want. What I'm saying is the current approach doesn't work. So an approach like alcohol would be, a, the way alcohol was monitored would be a better approach. It would be a much better approach. She's yes. also drinking alcohol. Okay, well that's, that's being provided to her by I, by people who are above age who are, are then getting that alcohol and giving it to her at the gravel pits uh, listen, here in listen. town. Well, that sounds like it's it's a it's an issue that goes beyond just access. It has to do with community, with peers, with parenting. So it looks like that woman has a bit of a problem child or maybe has had a troubled history herself but uh, she's uh, really looking for a lot of personal uh, answers from Trudeau. I think the, the bottom line in their debate is that he's saying let's regulate it, let's uh, you know make it more difficult to, for, for young people to get marijuana into their hands and she's saying we already uh, regulate alcohol, this is a, you know, a very a regulated industry and yet uh, my kids don't seem to have any trouble drinking either. So uh, you know Pat I think for what it's worth uh, maybe Maybe we should just mention the fact she's talking about marijuana uh, addiction ruining lives. Uh, I've done a very, I've briefly consulted some medical journals. Uh, there seems to be very firm uh, medical and scientific consensus that marijuana is in fact uh, not an addictive drug, or particularly uh, you know in relation to other things like cigarettes or, or alcohol. Um, so you know, I, but this isn't a, about attacking that woman. I think that part of this is to do with the fact that Justin Trudeau uh, seems to show over and over again that he's uh, not thinking all of these uh, things through. He has a very, uh, an emotional connection with Canadians. There's a very, uh, you know, a sense that he is his father's son. There's a lot of sentimentality. But I think when we see these clips, we see that this is not a man who is able to uh, intellectually defend his ideas, whether, uh, you know, it's uh, marijuana, legalization of marijuana, or any of the other things that he might come up with in the next two years. So um, I'll leave it there. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, interesting, interesting interesting, uh, uh, what's the word, um, interesting confrontation in Manitoba the other day. <laughs> confrontation is a good word. Jessica, thank you. Thanks. And this is the topic of our poll. Uh, a Manitoba food bank employee who says she deals with addiction as part of her job confronted Liberal leader Justin Trudeau Thursday about his stance on legalizing marijuana. Do you agree with Trudeau's pot policy? Go to sunnewsnetwork.ca and say yes or no.